I wasn't one of those kids who thrived in high school. I was kind of geeky. Plus, I had the unfortunate nickname of Pitts. What are you looking at, loser? I'm not a loser. I was just thinking about high school. You look like a loser. But you know what got me through? The knowledge that I'm a doctor. Yeah. A real doctor. Emily. Uh, Will. Sorry, a little overexcited. First day of school jitters. Mm. Not like we're in school anymore. Uh, your hospitals are a lot like high schools. Please don't say that. It's true. Look, you've got the jocks, AKA the orthopedic surgeons. The mean girls go into plastics and stoners are in anesthesia. How about us? Surgery is a melting pot, a little bit of everything, which basically means that none of us get along. You know, I've been in school for 23 years straight and I finally feel like I'm entering the next phase of my life. Pits? No, 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 no. Don't you recognize me? Do I recognize you? You hid my clothes after gym class. You prank called my house. You TP'd my car. You were my tormentor, my nemesis. I'm so bad with names. Cassandra Copelson from high school. <gasps> Cassandra Copelson from high school. <laughs> hey, what's with Pitts? That was your nickname in high school. Where'd they come from? <laughs> Welcome to Denver Memorial. Now I'd like to introduce you to your resident, Dr. Micah Barnes, and of course your attending, Dr. Gina Bhandari. We're walking. Your job is to keep my patients alive. Each of you has a pager, that is your lifeline. When you're paged, you have 60 seconds to appear, and yes, I have a timer. Breathe. <laughs> Was it that obvious? I'm a doctor. Medicine is all about the little details. You have to pay attention to everything, like that tiny nick on his jaw. And he has a nice jaw. Dr. Owens, you're in charge of discharge paperwork. You're gonna be just fine, Julia. What if I pass out again in front of Cody? Is that a boy you like? I see him in gym class. My heart races and... I totally get it, though, that heart racy thing that happens with me, too. You know, that other doctor never even remembered my name. You're different. Hey, Julia. Hey, someone give me a doctor! You are a doctor. Start compressions. I need 0.1 mg of atropine and an intubation kit. We have VTAC. Clear. We're losing her. EKG. Still no pulse. Give me a 60 cc syringe and an 18 gauge needle. <sighs> what the hell happened in here? She coded. We were talking and she coded. Dorina won another line in the left AC. Mm -hmm. Emily, that was perfect. That was amazing. Brilliant. <gasps> Just. Wow. Oh. Now I remember why we called you Pitts. You're doing my surgery, right? Sweetie, I can't. You need someone experienced. I want you. You care about me. Can you at least be in the room to make sure I'm okay? You told her she could request you in there? I didn't know what to say. You say you don't know what the hell you're doing. And you say that you don't know if you'll ever be in a surgery because right now your attending physician is so pissed off. She doesn't even want to look at you. You're a rock star. Come on. Come there. She's gonna realize that soon enough. Do it. Tell him. I like you. And I know that if I didn't say anything, then we'd always just be friends. And what I really, really want is you. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. I, I just don't see you like that. It's great. You right? I'm just having the worst day. <laughs> that man in there is gonna have to learn how to walk again without a leg. And the woman down to 501, she's gonna be told that she has stage four pancreatic cancer. You're not having the worst day. You must think I'm incredibly self-absorbed. <laughs> just human. Dr. Owens, I need hemostasis here. Get in your mouth. Place your finger here, apply steady pressure, and whatever you do, don't move. Can you handle that? Yes, of course. Well done, Dr. Owens. Hey, heard you kicked ass in surgery. Not the worst day after all, huh? No, it wasn't. The thing about being an adult that no one tells you when you're growing up is that all your stupid insecurities and anxieties, they're still there. You're supposed to have the answers. You're supposed to know. But we don't always know. Well, you know what? I'm done feeling stupid and insecure about feeling stupid and insecure. Oh, come on. Hey. You doctor? Yes, I am. It's pretty cool. Mamie Gummer, Emily Owens, MD. Coming this fall to the CW.